who here knows what swing is? Swing is a musical characteristic of a certain type of jazz in which a specific rhythmic and melodic sound makes you want to dance. Technically, the swing effect is rendered with the help of syncopations, which are non-binary rhythm variations that give to the music a swinging feel. The triple step is one of the steps in Lindy Hop and other swing dances that was created to take it into a, to take this syncopated rhythm and put it directly into body movement. Swing dancing is a dance that involves is a partner dance that involves moving to the rhythm of the beat while maintaining physical contact with your partner almost the entire time, though it does depend on which style of swing dance you are using. Lindy Hop is one of the more common styles people dance with, but as it goes with the beat of most jazz music. Charleston is the other more common style, but it goes better with faster beats and is harder to use at slower tempos. Those are just a couple of styles you can dance with, but there are many more, and to list a few, there's Balboa, West Coast Swing, and East Coast Swing, as well as a few shake styles, shake styles of swing. Carolina Shade, St. Louis Shade, and Collegiate Shade. All these, all these styles of swing were created in different time periods, starting originally, originally in the 1920s and 30s, and going all the way up to the 1990s, when the swing era, be, when the neo swing era began. You see, swing dancing is a very important part of history for many people but it isn't being recognized as it should be. In the 1930s, there was a group of people in Germany who called themselves the Swing Kids, or Swing Jugend. These people were in the age range of boys and girls from 14 to 21 year old. They, they admired the American and British way of life and were devoted to opposing the nationalist socialist ideology, mainly the hip youth. The culture of swing dance is still prevalent today, and I believe more young people should get involved in this activity, as it is quite an amazing opportunity to meet new people, improve your social skills, and it can also be quite a workout. I started a swing dance club that runs on Tuesdays at lunch, and I have contacted Swing X here in Victoria to possibly come and help teach the club and help us improve our skills and experience. My, part, my favorite part of swing dancing is the physics of it. For the most part, equal and opposite forces in accordance with Newton's third law of motion allow the two dancers to dance in synchrony as a mirror. The, the constant Anticipation, contact, and reflexes of the dancers is how the swing aspect of the dance can keep going. Basically, when the lead applies a net force, the, the more the lead's mass moves, the more the greater the transfer momentum, therefore causing the follows mass to move more. The, the longer it takes to transfer the momentum, the smoother the movement. For example, it is much the, the, when a careful driver accelerates slowly and decelerates gently, it is much smoother than the jarring and rapid, jarring and painful rapid acceleration of a reckless driver or an emergency stop. The reason this is the most amazing part of swing dancing is because when dancing alone, you are restricted by your physical abilities and by the physical reality of friction and gravity. Well, when dancing with partners, these forces can be beat by the laws of motion, therefore creating more range for movement. Now, swing, now dancing, 
doesn't have, just have an, a physical effect on the body, but a chemical one too. It is very common for dancers to seem to get addicted to dancing, or even feel an intense need to dance. This could be a result of neurotransmitters emitted, such as, such as endorphins, serotonin, and dopamine, that are re released as a result of the physical exertion of dancing. Another possibility is that dancing, with partners specifically, increases the levels of oxytocin in the blood. The science of oxytocin is still unclear, but, but most studies suggest that within a safe environment, oxytocin increases our trust and our sense of belonging to a group. From my personal experience swing dancing, I found it a very fun dance that is very easy to pick up. My first time going, I walked into the dance space knowing nothing about swing dancing and walked out know knowing six new dance moves that I had learned from the partners I had danced with. And all I, had to, on, all I had to do was ask and they just went straight into teaching me some cool new moves. One thing with not just swing dancing, but most partner dancing as well, is that there's the, the tradition that men have to assume the role as lead, and women have to follow. This was always seen as acceptable, as it was a common view that men have power, have power over women. Therefore, they should, they should be leading, and women should be behind them following. Today, people have been challenging this tradition and switching roles, and in many places are being kicked out of swing classes because of it. Many instructors have been taught their whole lives that men have to men are role leads and women are follows. So they are shocked or offended when a woman tries to dance as a lead and a man tries out tries to be a follow. Though some are more okay with men trying out following because they believe that men have the power to do what they want. A good friend of mine, Rachel, has been challenging this. She has been testing the waters with this and she has made the decision to stop waiting to be asked to dance, but to get out there and be the asker. Rachel wants a new perspective on dance, and is also expanding her skills, as the moves for the lead role are much different than the follow. What is amazing about her doing this is that the people who run the local swing dance club that she goes to completely accept this, are in fact very excited that she is doing this. I go to the same place as Rachel, and my first time going, I fell in love with it and decided to sign up for their swing lessons as soon as I could. The people who go are very kind and inclusive, as well as understanding of skill level and will adapt how they dance to match your, your level of confidence and experience. Even when you didn't have a partner for a song, you could just stand on the side and dance alone. And I saw many people doing that and join them. Because of all these different people doing things in many different ways, I had a constant sense of, of community and felt like I was part of something the whole time. And after I left, I knew I would be back for more. Thank you.